Oh shit! All right, what's up, O7 players? So we're just training some slit. The fuck. Anyways, guys, the last time I left uh, EOC, I, I mean, I what came out recently? Um, I honestly don't know how caught up you guys are on EOC. I, uh, you know, I'm sure some of you guys are playing EOC right now and have been ever since 07 came out. That you know, you guys probably didn't try 07 too much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to catch most people up to kind of what's the updates have been at least for Slayer for now. Other skills I get into whenever I bother ever training them. Anyways, this thing right here, it's called a Charm Collector. And it fucking rapes. Interestingly, interestingly enough, after you guys, um, this, I don't know exactly how to word this. I don't know how to word this video because I feel like this is such a huge change from 07 that if people have never watched this, then they might be like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, so to create an account, you guys gotta go to runescape.com. Okay, anyways, oh, is that a black mystic top? That's a black mystic. I got, I got Gmod black mystic. Oh man, we'll press check all of this, guys. Ready? Ready? How much is this? This is this is as much as a whip is worth. You know what? You want to know why? Because it asks for seventy k. <laughs> and this is thirty k. Okay. And this is twenty k. Three rune full helms, and you got like a whip right there. Anyways, any Slayer task that you guys ever get, and it is actually in the Slayer Tower, which is where I am right now. This is the Slayer Tower. It's been updated a little while ago. Um, it's a very fucking huge place now. If you actually enter, it's it's in exactly the same area. It's just updated graphics. I'm not sure if they made the actual Slayer Tower bigger or. It just looks a lot bigger because the way it's kind of made, but I gotta say, this looks like it's fucking way bigger. The area I'm in right now is only half of the top floor. There's like three floors right now, but yeah, this is the only... The other side has Abyssal Demons and Neck Reels, but like, it's really freaking big. Anyways, if you do your Slayer task in the Slayer Tower, you talk to the guy outside, um, and he will tell you that you have a current Slayer task that is in his tower, and he'll give you this special uh, task thingy, and... Uh, you get a 20% bonus Slayer experience for killing them in his tower. And the legs that I'm wearing right now is more Tenya Legs 4. Um, these give me a 10% bonus for any task, I guess, that is in the tower as well. So right now I'm getting about 30% bonus for Slayer experience, which is why I'm receiving uh, exactly 270 Slayer, 269 point something. Uh, 269 right there. Anyways, um, that's why I'm receiving that much experience for killing these right now. So yeah, those are two definite updates that I didn't know about uh, until my friend told me about them because I I, had, I quit way before that was like even a possibility. I don't know. The only thing I don't like about this update is uh, you can trade in. I mean, once you're done this, you get a little reward, and it's normally like twenty to thirty k uh, of a combat skill of your choice, or you can get like a hundred k GP um, instead of the experience. So I mean, that I kind of don't like because like I mean. This is like doing just a regular Slayer task, and you get like 100k from it, which is like more valuable than a whip nowadays. So that that could work. I don't know. It's like you try to get a money sink in the game, but then they do that. It's like, oh, what the hell? There's my third room for home. That's almost like a whip value right there. What? But yeah, as you guys can see, I mean, like, this looks a lot more relaxing, I would say, if you guys are, like, watching this for the first time. Does this not look a lot more relaxing than it is on actual 07? Like, I mean... I don't know, to me, I really enjoyed this. This is a lot more relaxing and enjoyable and it's a nice and fast experience and kind of, I don't know. Now, it kind of sucks because I made about, like, I literally made, like, four or so Slayer videos, uh, like, two two nights ago. Uh, and I lost them all because they're on all, all my old computers, so I don't really know exactly uh, what I kind of said in those videos, but yeah. Quest-wise, I have done that World Awakes quest. It was huge reward points. I gotta say, the graphics for that quest is very amazing. Uh, they've done a lot of jobs with these graphics on this game, to be honest. Like, a crazy amount of jobs. If you guys go and do World of Wakes quests, whatever, it takes a little while to do. It's quite a bit of combat, though. Um, you'll see the graphics in it. Like, it looks like you're almost like watching a movie, like a kind of odd movie. Anyways, my current Slayer experience right now, guys, is very close to 160 million. And just recently, I actually got myself a 100 million magic experience right there. Um, so now I'm training defense. I'm going to work on this basically till 200 mil now, and then I'll go work on mage later on. I'm doing defense first just because in case they ever do nerf, uh, well, not just mage in general, because mage is very OP in this game right now, which is, that's kind of why I'm doing Slayer, because I don't really want them to, uh, to nerf it anytime soon. Once I'm 200 mil jacks, you guys can nerf it as much as you want. I mean, mage is very OP, but then again, that's not a Gmail. Okay, everything is very OP in this game. I mean, dragors are like crazy. That new, uh, crossbow for range. Haven't tested it out yet, but I'm sure it's very OP as well. I'm sure it probably rapes these things as well. But Mage is very OP for not having to use abilities and, like, just the amount of hits you do. 
Mage was crazy before they even had duo wielding, but now you can do duo spells. It's just like, like it's crazy. But yeah, I feel like I have a lot to teach some of you guys because uh, I'm sure some of you guys have never maybe played EOC. Um, I have a friend. Where is he? I have one friend. Yes, that's all I have. Where is he? Oh, he's online. Anyways, yeah, I have a few friends, I guess you can say, on my list that uh, I met on 07, and they quit uh, this game, like the live game, whenever EOC came out. So um, they asked me, like, how the fuck does this game work, basically, because they haven't played since the EOC update. And a lot has changed obviously since then. So I kind of feel like I maybe have to teach some of you guys to maybe make you guys maybe want to play. I don't know, maybe test it out. This is more of a relaxed and enjoyable type of game where, I mean, everyone's very good at it basically because, like, it's so easy to do things. Like, you can create an account right now and you can go to RuneSpan without needing any money, without needing any items basically. And you can get 99 room crafting in probably like less than like a month of like 10 hours a day or some crap. And like, that's it. But you wouldn't make any money from RuneSpan, just so you know. But yeah, this is how much Slayer experience I've gained since I've came back, like, uh, in the past two and a half days or so. So, yeah, I've been doing about a mill a day. You can do a lot more than a mill a day if you really try. Um, if you do abilities, you can get a lot more than a mill a day. You can probably do, I think, around 1.5 mill a day. But to me, I, I only use abilities on a few tasks nowadays. I use it on um, uh, Skeleton Waver, and sometimes I, well, I use it always on Mythical Dragons as well. And sometimes I will use it on, uh, what's it called? Ice Strikes, those things. But yeah, I was very tempted to test out what Slayer is like with a Charm Collector. That's like the whole reason why I really wanted to come back and just have some fun. Um, I gotta say, like, not only, like, it, not, it didn't ruin Slayer, but it just makes Slayer a lot more, I guess, AFKable. Like, you literally just attack, 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 and then you can just, like, it comes in your inventory. It's pretty awesome. I guess with a game like EOC, you can't really, like, you can't just make it harder. Like, I mean, every update's gonna be making the game probably easier, but it's gonna maybe make it more enjoyable as well. But yeah, I don't really exactly know where to start. I feel like half of you guys uh, are like, okay, Alkin, I know all this. And I feel like the other half of you guys are like, okay, Alkin, teach me how to EOC. So like, I don't really exactly know where to start with all this. But um, yeah, I do have a spreadsheet that my friend Richard sent me for Slayer. This is the way he does his Slayer. I'll show you guys a little bit later on, probably. I'll probably, uh, I'm not going to make a video on it, but I'm just going to show you guys in an actual video throughout the whole list. Now, one thing I have noticed about EOC is they actually fix a lot of the XP rates for uh, things like Dark Beast and, uh, yeah, these things as well, Gargoyles. Uh, when EOC first came out, like, Dark Beast gave you, like, 200 Slayer Experience. They used to give you, like, 250. Um, Black Demons used to give you, like, 154 or something, and they gave you, like, 120 when EOC came out. So, a lot of things went, like, down, and then a lot of other Slayer tasks went up. Like, I believe Mithril Dragons were giving me, like, 4K Slayer and Kill. Um, now it's like 500 or 600 or whatever the hell it is, or it used to give like 2k or something like that. But yeah, just picture a task like Black Demons, how like profitable this goddamn charming imp is. That was probably one of the best tasks, but one of the worst because of all the running around you had to do. Uh, Water Fiends is amazing. I, I mean, it collects all the charms, which is pretty damn awesome. You can actually choose if you want to collect uh, either one. You can make it like not pick up golds. You can make it not pick up, you know, blues. Who the fuck would do that? But, you know, or greens. I'm going to just have it set to pick them all up just because, I mean, I'm not going to ever use these gold charms, but uh, I want to have like a nice collection in my bank. I've always collected golds even before the charm collector, so I don't really see why I would stop now. But yeah, just to have a cool collection in my bank, I'm going to uh, collect gold charms. My summoning experience right now is 139 million. Uh, I think the charms in my bank I have is around 51k crims, 8,000 blues, and like 13k greens or so. You get a lot of greens because of like dragons and uh, yeah, you get a lot of dragons in this game. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the first uh, EOC slash the first Slayer of EOC video on this channel. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of things, I guess. So if you guys are already familiar with all this, I'm kind of sorry if this might be kind of boring to you. I'll try to make the commentary as entertaining as I can for you. But I do want to teach uh, some people that haven't really ever played EOC uh, kind of the, just the basics, I guess I can say. Well, I guess the basics would be like, this is a book. This is a wand. This is an arcane. I'm sure you guys know what an arcane stream is. Um, you mostly use a, a bone d demon horn necklace now with a bone crusher because, man... But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next video, um, I guess later on today. And yeah, I hope you guys, uh, I don't know, maybe you guys will give EOC a chance, even if you guys have never played yet. I understand it's a lot different, um, especially if you got to start like level 3 stats, or I guess level 1 stats. You're actually level 4 combat now by default. You're, there's no more level 3s in this game. Um, I'm not exactly, I think it's because of the HP, it's higher than normal, I don't really know, but yeah, you start at level 4 now, any level 3 skiller is now level 4 skiller, so yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.